now Braun Strowman burying Miz in the corner. So as a result of this, the end up, uh, what do you call it? Connects. It is all over, and Nakamura with a sliding knee. Damn that. I feel like WWE is doing a whole, uh, you know, you know, quick, uh, this video is only like, yeah, two minutes and some odd seconds left. I mean, so, uh, uh, in it. Hey, where's this going? She won last week, she won this week. Are they gonna end this already? Very good match. The end. These two really complimented each other. It was really a great match. And there's uh, Strowman. The power of Strowman. And he pins uh, Miz as he did uh, Morrison last week. Here's the cover. Strowman with the win. And Bailey now. Now look at Charlotte. So quick. Rolling Bailey up. Shoulders down. Bailey rolls. And Bailey does. Charlotte's shoulders are down. Bailey has the ropes. And Charlotte actually smiled afterwards. Like, yeah, you got me. Look at that. she took a loss because, you know, they want to make her strong all the time and give her a victory every time. But Bailey got that, so. That was, ooh, that was a dangerous style splash right there, dude. But Sheamus is calling for the bro. Do it. This is wild. So it's a very uh, anticlimactic type of a uh, victory, but he's got Sheamus stacked. Jeff got it. Hardy got him. Here is Sheamus all shocked. What the hell? Shinsuke in the center of the ring. AJ wants it. Here it comes. The top rope. Phenomenal. Boom. Nakamura. I know we had him. AJ has got him. Styles advances. Good. They protected that move and allowed him to. Yeah, I think it'll be him and Jeff in the end. Finals. That'd be a good finals. First of all, that was that was really a quick uh, top ten. Two minutes and forty six seconds. Before you know it, you're just gonna put a graphic that says who won, who lost. Come on, WWE. And some of the moments was just like parts of the matches, you know. How many times did uh, we see something from the Nakamura Styles match? A moment is him doing a sliding uh, elbow that missed. That was in a moment. Come on, you can do better than that. Anyway, let's talk about uh, Friday Night Smackdown or the 20th, 23rd, excuse me, of May 2020. The one thing that stood out and it surprised me was the Charlotte Flair Bailey match where Bailey went over. Charlotte surprisingly didn't win. And she even smiled about it. She's like, hey, Bailey got me. We used uh, some underhanded tactics that I may have used. You know, that's what she's thinking to herself. A good match. It was better than I was thought it was going to be. So Good on uh, Charlotte and, and Bailey putting out a great match. And maybe it's just because of the fact that they know each other. They complement each other very well in the ring. Their styles do mesh. There's no, you know, clumsiness to it or no, you know, unpreparedness to it. It's just all smooth and it really went, came together and it was a great match. Best match that I've seen out of the, both of them in recent uh, months. Where it wasn't one person dominating the other, they actually were even till the end. The tournament for uh, the Intercontinental title uh, is set now where we are going into the semis. And we have uh, Elias versus AJ Styles. And then we have Jeff Hardy taking on Daniel Bryan. And my prediction right now is that I'm, I'm thinking, I'm going to say it's going to be Jeff Hardy going over Daniel Bryan and going into the finals. And then AJ is going to go over Elias and go to the finals. And they will have a Jeff Hardy versus 
AJ Styles for the title, and I'm going to say that Jeff will win it because they're going to continue the feud between him and Sheamus, and then what's going to happen is that their match is going to culminate in a title match, their feud, and then Sheamus will win the title from AJ, uh, from uh, Jeff Hardy, and he will finally add that elusive Intercontinental title to his list of championships. He's, he's done it all. You know, four-time world champion, uh, multi-time tag team champion, especially with uh, Cesaro, U.S. champion, and him adding this would definitely put it right up there with uh, a lot of the guys who held every title in our Hall of Famers. We know uh, Sheamus will be a future Hall of Famer. It's a matter of time. But I'm glad that uh, this tournament is almost over in the sense that we're going to definitely see the crowning of a new Intercontinental Champion. And we'll see who wins between uh, Jeff and AJ. But I do predict that Jeff will win. If it's in fact, him and AJ in the finals, we'll see. But that's what I'm predicting, and then Jeff's going to win the title. Also, let's talk about Dolph Ziggler, Sonya Deville versus Mandy Rose and Otis. Now, how long are they going to keep that going? You know, they're going to be 50 50 booking every time. You know, they're going to win. Uh, Sonya Deville never ended. Mandy Rose, but then again, it's not even 50 50 with that because it's just Mandy, it's just Sony Devils being here every time. So they need to kind of slowly fade that away and make them go their separate ways, you know. Now, I admit that the Mandy Rose Sony Devils matches are, are enjoyable, you know. You can see that Sony Devils has improved continuously. People are, are criticizing Mandy Rose, but Mandy Rose is decent in the she just needs more time. She needs more polishing, and she could be right up there. You know, she got pretty. She delivers a pretty damn good knee to, for a finisher. So, you know, she has to just keep practicing, keep doing her thing. She'll she'll get better and better. But she ain't absolute, you know, train wreck like uh, Eva Marie was. Eva Marie couldn't, you know, improve even with the help of uh, Brian Kendrick. She did a slice bread number two, which was decent. I'm like, whoa, she actually pulled that move off? And she actually got a pinfall for it. I believe it was at that WrestleMania match that they had, where it was the Divas versus the, uh, um, you know, the um, Total Divas versus the, uh, you know, WWE, uh, you know, I don't know, I don't know what they called them, but the WWE and the, the female superstars of uh, WWE. I don't know, I forgot what it was, but it was the, the you know, the, you know, Total Divas versus the, uh, the, um, the women of WWE. I guess that was, I forgot what it was called, but it was, I think it was that match, but. Anyways, I diverge. I mean, I diverse and I digress, I should say. What am I saying? I think I'm tired. My head is somewhere else. <laughs> but, uh, you know, SmackDown was uh, it's very, very, uh, it was good. You know, some great moments, uh, some decent matches, the great, uh, you know, finalization of the uh, first round matches. So we saw the winners there with uh, Jeff going forward and AJ going forward. So uh, we'll see what happens uh, with that. Who's going to be crowned a new Intercontinental Champion? You know, uh, SmackDown really um, does continue to deliver. Uh, a little, bit, little stumbling blocks here and there, but they put out a decent effort, you know. Also, before I forget, uh, after Strowman uh, pinned uh, uh, Miz, then Morrison asked for a handicap match for a the Universal title at Backlash. Now, where have we seen this before? Oh, that's right. When he was Intercontinental Champion, Ross Strowman. It was him versus uh, Nakamura. Cesaro and Sami Zayn in a one-on-three handicap match for the Intercontinental title. 
You saw how that went. That was going to happen here. We're going to have co-champions. And what is it that they did to deserve a title match? Did he say, I want to challenge you? Okay, I'll go. I'll take you. Let me, uh, yeah, I guess Strowman is a person that is takes on all comers, right? But shouldn't someone at least deserve the shot? You know, I don't think they're going to they're gonna, um, take the title from him. I think uh, him and Braun, I mean, him and uh, Braun and uh, Ray are not done. They even It was even brought up during an impromptu uh, Miss TV where he wasn't even a guest, you know, Braun was. And Miss brought it up or uh, either him or Morrison brought it up about Ray. Miss talking about how he had his run in with Ray and not the same, he wasn't the same person afterwards, you know, kind of thing. But uh, yeah, SmackDown was okay. It was good. Uh, like I said, decent matches. And the one thing that finally, uh, I guess finally it's worn on me now, or it's kind of uh, rubbed off on me now, is that the uh, hey, hey, ho, ho thing from Miz and Morrison backstage actually didn't make me cringe for once. I still don't like it, but it made, didn't make me cringe for for, for, for once in my uh, all time I've been watching SmackDown with those two uh, knuckleheads, you know? But yeah, that's my uh, video before I rebel on into the off into space, you know? And uh, again, uh, that's my uh, video. It's, that's my reaction to the top 10 for May 22. 20 and also my thoughts on smackdown i may have missed some things but uh the things i brought up or what stuck with me but overall good a good raw you know can't complain but uh, anyway that's my video and for those of you who stopped by and checked it out i appreciate it and in closing and as always take care please remember to subscribe click like and click the bell icon for all the notifications on this channel